Let's club. McCrimmon jumping against Gotch, and we're underway, and Notre Dame will strike first. Ryan Hoover. Get it to the baseline, Gotch. They roll it to Garrity, knocks free, and Hoover takes over for Notre Dame. And it'll stay right here. It went out of bounds on Rutgers, number 41, Eric Clark. Rutgers opening up in a 2-3 zone. Notre Dame comes into this game really struggling, shooting the ball from the outside, so Bobby Wenzel trying to force the jumper early. And Hoover hits a three to start the Irish, the first bucket in Big East history for the Notre Dame fighting Irish. Hoover is the all-time leading three-point scorer for Notre Dame, comes in struggling, averaging just four a game. He's a guy, if he gets a hot hand, that's very positive news for the fighting Irish. Here's Billet. Carner has been reluctant to shoot. He's a pretty good shooter, too. The coaching staff a little anxious. The fact that he has not been shooting much at all. Clark baseline. Leaves it for Kobasowski, and he gets the roll. The Rutgers on the board. Kobasowski, the senior from Archbishop Malloy High School in New York City. Nice interior passing that time by the Scarlet Knights. Notre Dame's got to defend better underneath. Some zone action by the Scarlet Knights. Weiss is the man that can shoot at number four, and Hoover, outstanding three-point shooter, especially when he gets the hot hand. Nice cut there. Weiss had it blocked by Clark. Here comes Rutgers running five on three. Billet forces baseline. Can't get it. Gotch had it, lost it. Weiss rebound. Rutgers fans wanted a foul on Gotch. Gotch, he got hammered by Kobasowski, his first foul. Team first. Now, very nice pass by Hoover. Crowd reacting. Thought Gotch climbed on the last play down the other end, and <laughs> perhaps he did. But a good look in transition for Notre Dame. It's Hoover. He really is a kid. He's, he's deadly accurate from the foul line. Had 42 in a row, a Notre Dame record his sophomore year. And I think he's a kid, too. If he hits his first one, he gets confident, and that was too much time. How about that? A turnover by Edmore White. Good pressure by Rutgers matching up on the inbound play. Scarlet Knights down 3-2 early going here at Rutgers. Bill it to Kobasowski. They turn it over. White. Notre Dame will set it up. Garrity trying to post up along the box. Can't get it to him. And finally a whistle. And a foul's on McCrimmon. Johnny McCrimmon picks up his first foul. Johnny in his first Division I action coming over from Clinton Junior College in South Carolina. Good battle here, Ron. Well, that's right. Clearly one of the game plans for Bob Wenzel is to try to deny Pat Garrity the ball. And McCrimmon worked hard there. Nice reverse there by Matt Gotch on the inbound, and Notre Dame has a 5-2 lead. Tough matchup by Rutgers on the inbounds, but sometimes you give up the easy one when you put a lot of pressure underneath. Billet way outside. Here's McCrimmon, guarded by Gotch. Man-to-man -man by the Fighting Irish. John McLeod will play that throughout the game. They get Garrity for the foul. He had the trail hand on the back of Kobosowski. So Garrity picks up his first. He's a guy that Notre Dame absolutely cannot afford to have in foul trouble. Mentioned the first game, 18.17 rebounds against Akron, but didn't get it going against the Hoosiers with just four points. And they get a foul off the ball. Reggie Greenwood with the call. Foul on Anthony, Anthony Weish. Both teams have got to be excited early in this one, day. First Big East matchup. We're seeing some reaching and that's usually a sign that guys are pretty keyed up early. Pretty even matchup, too, on paper, Ron. Rutgers comes in, pick last in the Big East 7. Notre Dame pick fifth in the Big East 6. The Big East is going to two division setup. Billet didn't get a roll and got rebounds for the Irish. It is an even matchup, but I think this is a game that both teams early really want to get. And both teams think they have a real good shot at, too. Yeah, it's, a, it's an even matchup, and we should have one that 
could well go down to the wire. It's early to tell, but on paper, this looks like a close matchup. 5-2 lead for Notre Dame. 3-0-2 into the contest. Here's Hoover, got an opening, and he drills it again. So Ryan Hoover shooting well out of the gate today. Notre Dame with a 7-2 lead. He's a guy that's averaged in double-figure scoring his sophomore year, just under 10 a game last year. So at four a game, he's already over that, Dave, with two shots in this one. Clark got fouled. Gotch. Gotch picks up his first good entry into the paint by Rutgers. I think one of the one of the concerns that John McLeod has is the inside matchups and Gotch playing in the middle for Notre Dame, 6'11", but weighs just 224 pounds. They're hoping that he can pick up some more strength because he will give some ground against some rugged players, front line that is, in the Big East. Eric Clark in the line, the sophomore from Rockford, Illinois. Clark's very active around the basket. He goes at the boards, and you saw him that time taking it right up very aggressively to the basket. It's off to a good start, averaging close to 10 points, seven boards a game. Kept alive, Notre Dame takes control, leading 7-3. Weiss, alley-oop, got picked off by Clark. <laughs> Phillips gonna run one on two. In trouble, left it for McCrimmon, and he'll stay right here. Boy, that was an outstanding play at the other end by Clark. He just hustled back, read the alley-oop, and got the job done. Billet, a little bit out of control, left his feet at the offensive end. McCrimmon, strong off the glass. Clark, likewise, Kobasowski rebound, and he got it. Third try work. Well, one of the stats we'll have to keep an eye on today will be the rebounding in Rutgers all over the offensive glass that time. Crowd of about 6,000 here at the Lewis Brown Athletic Center. Holds about nine and change. It can really get loud. Baseline. Can't get it. Tip is no good, but Garrity drew the foul. White started that play along the baseline. And it'll send Pat Garrity to the line. I thought Notre Dame overpassed this time. Garrity passed up a shot. White passed up a shot and ended up forcing it in there a bit. Especially for Garrity, if he's open, Notre Dame's got to get him onto the board early in this one to get his confidence going. Damon Santiago, the senior from the Bronx, New York, just came in. He replaced Al Carner. Rutgers top assist man, be good with the ball. Rattled home. <laughs> Brother, he got every piece of the rim on that one. Weiss, and Notre Dame leads 10-5 over Rutgers. Well, the three is playing big early for Notre Dame with a couple of them. And Weiss, we talked about at the beginning, and Tony, just a freshman. Santiago, veteran on this ball club, played both guard spots. Baseline turn, short, Clark, rebound Notre Dame. Make that McCrimmon on the shot. Long lead to Weiss, had it, lost it. Rutgers takes control. First time out of the afternoon, 15.31 to go. And right now, Notre Dame in its first Big East contest has a 10-5 lead over Rutgers. They're shooting the ball extremely well at a 67% clip. Four out of six, couple of threes, Dave, and always a good sign when you're on the road and you can shoot it. Indeed, that will work. Here's Clark. Gilligan's in the game, good shooter, missed that one. Billy Gilligan from nearby Middletown, New Jersey. Irish have a 10-5 lead in the ball. Here's Hoover, two for two. Bring it up, three for three. It's <laughs> second three, and the Irish by eight. He can feel it, Dave. Preseason game against the athletes in action. Ryan hit for 25 points. So he's a guy that can clearly catch fire, and when you're a shooter, hit the first couple, you can tell he's got that feel. Yes, he does. He's got eight points. Santiago. Try to get it inside, does McCrimmon. Nice extension with the land. 13-7, Notre Dame. Now, clearly, Rutgers wants to go in. Notre Dame's been hitting from the perimeter. Rutgers now, nice adjustment to a man-to-man -man defense. And you got Hoover was knocked down. Rutgers has to number three, Billy Gilligan. Billy Gilligan, who just came into the game, he was called for the foul. His first. More substitutions for Rutgers. Damian Haskett, 6'7", sophomore out of Houston, just came in, number 25. 
Here's Hoover off the quick release. Can't get that one. Santiago will run. McCrimmon knocked away by Hoover. Notre Dame breaking three on two. Hoover's open right side. Didn't see him. Boy, the hottest hand was ignored on that break. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He was open on the wing. Bring it to the foul line and get it to him. See if he can get you another one from the perimeter. Garrity puts it on the floor. And we got a foul on number 41, Eric Clark, his second. His second. Team fifth foul for the Scarlet Knights. Notre Dame was just three, and that's not a good sign, Ron Perry, for Rutgers when you got to lose Clark, your top shot blocker. He's very active underneath. He was one of the main concerns for Notre Dame pregame. His activity and relentless pursuit underneath, and now he's on the bench. Hoover leaves it for Gotts. Gotts throws glass and scores. Boy, he shoved out of bounds, and he's still able to get it. <laughs> Get it to go, 15-7 Irish. Thought that was a great catch by Gotts that time on the look from Hoover. Santiago, a lot of dribbling out front. Here's Billet. McCrimmon. Hoover, and they throw it away. The turnover, third of the afternoon for the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Rutgers averaging 16 turnovers in the first two games. Well, Bob Wenzel says, let's take a 20-second timeout. I'm not happy with the way we stood around that time. Off to a terrific start this afternoon. He's got eight points. Hoover gets it to Garrity. Spin baseline. Headed block. Haskett. Garrity got it back. Pump fake. Left hand. No. Tried again. Got it. Oh, man. Great effort by Garrity with the second and third effort. Notre Dame by 10, the biggest lead of the afternoon. That time Hoover draws the defense out tightly. That's going to open some things up for Garrity inside. Boy, Rutgers starting its offense a long way from the basket. Hoover almost stole it from Santiago. Yeah, Santiago and Bill are going to get some penetration. Kobosovsky, rebound got, and a foul on the play against Rutgers. It's on number 25, that's Damian Haskett, his first. So the team fouls mounting, that's number six for Rutgers, Rod. That's where you got the spread. You've got to get your point guards getting the ball inside the top of the key toward the foul line, getting some help out defense, and then start to open people up. You got to believe the confidence factor soaring for Notre Dame after the pummeling they took at Indiana earlier this week. Yeah, they really just didn't get into that game, and. Not a lot of people win, though, at IU. And White with a good-looking reverse high off the glass. Ed Moore White out of Lauderdale Lakes, the junior from Florida. And Notre Dame controlling action here up by 12, and the Rutgers fans trying to get his club back into it. So important to get off to a good start on the road, and that's what Notre Dame has done so far this afternoon. I they get McCrimmon inside. Kolbasovsky banging the board. Right now, this is a spread offense, though. Took Hoover off the dribble. Nicely done by Santiago. 19-9, Notre Dame. That's when you need your senior to step up. And Santiago punching his fist at the other end, saying, come on, guys, play some D now. It's a 2-3 by the Scarlet Knights. Nice. Look for Hoover, weak side. The ball right there, got rolling to the hoop, the jam, and they get a travel right before. And a break for Rutgers. Split, split the seam. Sure enough, TV timeout, 11.40 to go. Notre Dame in control right now, leading by 10. The chance to bang the offensive glass. There's Billet way outside. Kobasowski, good shooter. Inside, knocked away, but a foul. New man into the game for the Fighting Irish, number 55, Phil Hickey. And McCrimmon is down. Phil Hickey's a big boy, 6'10", 265 pounds, and he really laid the body that time on Johnny McCrimmon. Hickey is a very good rebounder, comes in averaging over six rebounds a game, just a freshman. Jason, Mar Jason Marone just came in for Rutgers. He's another big one, so... Big on big today, folks. He's 6'10", 240 out of Clear Lake High School in Houston. 
seen a lot of good young players here, both clubs with five freshmen if you're just joining us. So both teams have a lot of young players on their squads. Sure enough, and one of those youngsters, number 25, Damian Haskett for Rutgers with a clear out, just picked up his second foul. The second foul on Damian, at 17 foul to the line we go with 11.21 to go first half. Free throws will be important in this game as well. We talked about the main man on the line, Ryan Hoover, Bob Wenzel saying guys were reaching in too much. And Hoover, throughout his career, has really been dynamite for the Irish from the line. Well, you're really uh, taking a double dose of poison when you put him on the line. He's as close as you get to automatic over that career, indeed. Rebound, Hickey. Hickey went up, no call. They said he got ball, and Rutgers takes over. Down 20 to 9. Look, we jinxed Hoover there with all the confidence. That's right. Today. One out of two is not acceptable for Ryan Hoover. Basket, air ball. Kobasowski had it, lost it. Notre Dame's Gottlieb into the game and takes over. Doug Gottlieb, number 44, running the point. Doug's out of Tustin, California. Three guard lineup right now, although Weiss playing the three for Notre Dame. Garrity goes baseline, draws a foul. Boy, so Notre Dame getting right into the teeth of the defense of Rutgers. They're starting to now. They came out, hit those jump shots, and once you do that, opportunities open up. You can see John McLeod talking it over. Fran McCaffrey on the left, and Terry Tyler on the right. Terry Tyler, of course, played for the Detroit Pistons back in the early 80s. Pat Garrity at the line. Talking to Fran McCaffrey before the game. He said, we really got to do a job on the boards. We've got to come out and start hitting some jumpers. And I think the key is a couple of those jumpers going down. Now the inside lane's opening up for Notre Dame. McCrimmon comes in. Kobasowski takes a seat for Rutgers. So Garrity had only made two trips to the line in the first two games. Perfect there. 22 to 9. 13 point bolt for the Fighting Irish. First Big East game for both of these programs. Notre Dame having a much better sh uh, start here. They're trapping right now out of this man-to-man. Billet -man. lost it, save, and right to Notre Dame. Gottlieb would have been better off to let that one go out of bounds. Hoover, Hickey facing up, a little short on that one, but Crimin rebound. Santiago. Fade back, can't get it, rebound, Hickey for Notre Dame. Good position by the big man. Godly change of pace, finds Weish. Wide open and he buries the three, and Notre Dame getting it done, 25-9. Notre Dame feeling very confident now. The shots are dropping, playing tougher defense, and they're starting to look for the ball and penetrate when the opportunity presents itself. Notre Dame is scorching from long range, four for five from three-point range. Rutgers has got to get it to the goal a couple of times and then pound the backboard. There's Jeff Billet. Big basket. Sure was. All state at Christian Brothers Academy in New Jersey, and that's a big bucket indeed. 25-12. He's a fiery player. That took some guts. He just stepped in there. He's just a freshman but plays with a lot of poise. Close to Garrity, Hoover wide open. Can't get it. Hickey controlling the boards, reverse and scores. Really hurting Rutgers with Ed Clark on the bench, Dave. Right now, Notre Dame with that big front line out there with Hickey and Garrity controlling the backboards. 27 to 12, a 15 point advantage for the Fighting Irish. That's the biggest of the afternoon. Notre Dame controlling the boards. 13, five, billet, no, another rebound for the Irish as they run. Gottlieb leaves it for Garrity, and yeah, he took a few. He got from the top of the key to the basket without putting it down, so. <laughs> Covered some ground. Three subs in for Rutgers. They bring Billy Gilligan, Kobasovsky, and Al Carner back into the game. And Bob Wenzel, some anxious moments here. 8.40 to go, first half, 27-12 Notre Dame. Santiago's hands. 
corner, leaves it for Gilligan, and foul on Notre Dame's Matt Gotch. What Rutgers needs to do, though, is set some screens for each other, penetrate to the basket, and when you get your back where people doing that, as Billy Gilligan does, Gilligan, 6'5", freshman, good-looking player out of New Jersey, that's a foul on Gotch. Gotch has position on that, but if he holds his hand straight up, he's okay. Comes down with his arms, committing the personal. Second foul on Gotch, putting Gilligan on the line. Freshman, St. Thomas Moore Prep. How about this one? He was in high school. His coach up at the Prep in Connecticut, Jerry Quinn, said he was the best outside shooter he's ever coached. Won the 95 New England Prep title. Pete Miller comes in for the Irish. That's quite a statement. I... I saw the same comment, David. I, I tell you, he, he really does have a pure shot. Beautiful rotation on that. And watching him shoot, I can understand why his coach is yeah. gushing with the praise. I and mean, that's a rave. They beat Maine Central Institute for that title. Yeah. That's telling you how good that competition is. Notre Dame up 27-14. Rutgers 2-2-1, three-quarter pressure. Now see if they can get a steal or two. And maybe pick the pace up and get a few layups if they can get Notre Dame to turn it over. Also on the floor for the Irish, number 20, Keith Kurowski from Matawan, New Jersey, not too far from here. Sure he's got a lot of fans, and he takes it right to the hole. Keith Kurowski, his first bucket of the afternoon. It's 29-14, Notre Dame. Went to the same high school as Christian Brothers in New Jersey as Jeff Billett. Where was the defense on that one? Right to the no. goal. Set the lineups for the Irish. Gottlieb, Weiss, Kurowski. Number 55 is Hickey. And John McLeod's ball club up by 15. 7.46 to go. Stick around. We'll be right back to Rutgers after this. For two. We'll leave it for Billet for three. No, sir. Tip ball. Notre Dame control. Gottlieb, no look to Garrett. He got in clean. No call. Going to stay right here, though. Good help out that time, as we just discussed. Didn't happen the last time. Kobo, Kobosovsky get in there with a good help out with McCrimmon. Three-guard look for the Irish. Gottlieb pushing the five seconds. Just got it in. Here's Kurowski. Kurowski, Gottlieb, and Miller. Make them whites. And then Miller and Garrity up front for Notre Dame. Moving pick. Fouls on number 44. That's Doug Gottlieb. Number one on him. Team seven. So Rutgers now the one one. Gary Bell comes in. Number 11 for the Irish. Replaces in Tony Weiss. There's a look at Gottlieb. How about him, Ron? He says, in terms of uh, coming to Notre Dame, is the East Coast girls are going to get a chance to see me play. <laughs> a traveling violation on Garrity, so he turns it over. Rutgers right back to it. Got a uh, pretty confident young man. He was a player of the year in Orange County, California last year. The man from the West Coast moving, moving it eastward. Speaking with some confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another reach in foul. His first. Knowledgeable insurance agents and fast claim service are only two of the many benefits you get with Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide proud to salute the agent of this game, Harry Antrim of Roslyn, Pennsylvania. From for home, auto business, or life insurance, Nationwide is on your side. Eric Clark at the line, can't get it, rebound to Bell. Notre Dame leading 29-14, approaching the seven minute mark first half. First Big East game for both teams. Garrity on the right side at the baseline. And a man defense by the Scarlet Knights. Get it to Garrity. Gottlieb. Oh, nice look. Sure was. Garrity finishes the playoff. Well done by Doug Gottlieb on the setup. We penetrated beautifully there. Nice dish as the defense came up to help. 17 points, the biggest lead, 31-14, Notre Dame. Rutgers has just got to get good offensive sets, and they've got to find some ways to stop Notre Dame at the other end. Good a dribbling, set it up, McCrimmon with the jam. The corner, good penetration, good look there. 
He's a very steady player, Carner, with the basketball. That was a nice look off the penetration. Rutgers needs to bear down now defensively. Nice setup. Garrity's inside. Influenced by McCrimmon. Gilligan takes over. Carner on the run. Got a man, McCrimmon. Hello. Another terrific look by Carner. And that gets the crowd involved. How about McCrimmon? Does he run the floor well for a big man? John McLeod with a 22nd timeout. Bob Wenzel's club showing some signs of life. 31-18. And you get out and push it as Rutgers did right there. Here comes the crowd here at the Brown Athletic Center. That leave running the point for the Fighting Irish. Get it to Bell. Bell, good up fake. Got tripped by Clark, and that hurts Rutgers. Third foul on Eric Clark. I thought Bell may have gotten away with a walk as he squared up that time. I thought he dragged the pivot foot, but he's very athletic. They're extremely excited about him at Notre Dame. Well, that's really going to hurt Rutgers losing their top shot blocker and one of their better defenders. Number 25, Damian Haskett comes back in, and Haskett's got two fouls. Clark's been in foul trouble this whole first half, and that's been a real key for Notre Dame, having him have on the bench. The lefty Bell at the line, a little strong. Billet rebound. Rutgers trailing as Billet takes it all the way in. Can't get it, but he'll shoot two at the line. Aggressive play by Jeff Billet. Bob Wenzel talking about him, says he could be our, for Rutgers, could be their John Stockton type, which is a rave and a half. There's no question. He's not afraid from what we've seen in this first half to stick his nose right in there, take it to the goal. An aggressive looking competitive kid, just a freshman. Had to have been excited to get that game winner in Rutgers' last victory against Monmouth. Puts his head down. This is what got him to the line, saying, hey, I know there's going to be some contact. Only question is, can I finish? That was on Karowski. The Rutgers, which had been down by as many as 17, has got it down to 11 at 5.20 to go. One thing Notre Dame doesn't want to do is become passive at the offensive end. And a foul on Garrity. Garrity trying to establish position on McCrimmon draws the foul. The second foul on Garrity. Not a good foul to mix it up like that. And Again, you're going to see plays like that for both clubs this year when you have as many freshmen and sophomores as both teams have. And Tony Weish comes back in for Notre Dame. He replaces Weish, and Ryan Hoover comes in to pick up Karaski. So Notre Dame with 10 turnovers, Rutgers with five. Both of these clubs turned it over a pretty good amount the first two games. McCrimmon strong from the line there. Notre Dame's turned it over 17 times first two games. 16 for Rutgers as we look at Carner and Billet. Backcourt men for Rutgers. They've hooked up very effectively, especially since Carner's come into the game. Johnny McCrennan, we talked about him. We can't get either one to go. The junior college transfer from Clinton Junior College in South Carolina. Really impressed with his quickness in the first half. Wasted trip. Turn around, Garrity. Rebound, Rutgers, Haskett. Corner. The billet cut off by Gottlieb. And he put his shoulder down and ran him over. Hoover drew the offensive foul. Corner, number one for him. That's a good call. The shoulder went down and drove into Ryan Hoover at established position. I'm sure Bob Wenzel wasn't thrilled with the call, but then again, when did you ever see a coach right. that, like that type of call? Just a little bit of a slow burn. Absolutely. Man-to-man -man by Rutgers. Like a high, double high post set so you can get the cutters. Weish, and he's called for the offensive foul as Gilligan held his ground. Seen it, the freshman that time forcing his way in there. Too much body contact. Second foul on Weish. Start to feel some of the juice come into this game from a Rutgers standpoint. They're down by 11, but the confidence starting to surge a little bit. 
Well, if they can have it single figures, anywhere between five and ten at halftime, good job given the way Notre Dame was pulling ahead in this one. McCrimmon turns and a travel. Another turnover for Rutgers. Seven for Rutgers, 11 for Notre Dame. And more White back in, number 12 for Notre Dame. Ryan Hoover's in the game, Ron, and you'd think after his start with eight quick points, they'd get him involved, but it's been a strange run offense. Surprised he sat as long as he did, the way he was shooting it early. For a shooter, you don't want to come out when you've got that hot hand going. See if he can find it again. Hoover almost stepped on the line. Weiss, stolen, Billet's got it. Rutgers takes over. Under four minutes to go, 31-20 at Notre Dame in the lead. Oh, Gilligan had it. Under pressure, a little long. Hickey rebound. They got Weiss on the right side. White didn't see him. Here's Weiss and a whistle. Foul on the screen. They're calling things tough. They're calling things closely. Fouls on number 22, Pete Miller. First on Pete, 10 team fouls, both clubs. Double bonus in effect. There's Pete coming off right thumb ligament surgery. Got cast off recently. And John McLeod calls him a real warrior. Good to have him on the club. The local walk. kid. That's it, can walk. Right to classes. He's a native of South Bend. At St. Joe's High School. See the tape on the right thumb, the shooting hand. Here's a look at the thumb of Pete Miller. Corner out of Zagreb, Croatia. Good trip for Rutgers. They've got it inside 10, Ron Perry, with 3.33 to go. We'll be back right after this. Book of the Big East Conference, and we'll have stats and highlights as well. Ron, Notre Dame's turned it over 13 times in this game, and a lot of those turnovers have led to an 8-0 Rutgers run. Hoover tries to end it, Gilligan rebound. Didn't have a great angle, but he got it to the basket. Trailer is Gilligan, the runner in the lane. No, hangs on the rim. Notre Dame takes over. Good job by Rutgers to fight back in this one. Notre Dame really had the momentum midway through the first half. Defense by Rutgers has really picked up. And inside to Phil Hickey. Underneath is Miller. He got hit and got a roll. <laughs> Squeezed that one through, huh? Sure did. What a look by Gary Bell. 11-point lead for the Fighting Irish. Their biggest margin to the, so far today was 17 points. Gilligan spinning. Hanging. Yes, indeed. Good-looking young player. Billy Gilligan with the reputation of being a terrific shooter shows us some penetrating ability on that one. Go cross-court to White. Hoover with a great start, eight points in the first couple of minutes. Been quiet since then. There's Bell on baseline. Haskett had him cut off. Good look inside. Hickey, no. Rebound. And it's a foul against Al Corner of Rutgers. For Corner, his second foul. Battling hard against this man. Gary Bell out of Joliet, Illinois. What a high school career he had. Particularly that senior year, parade third team All-American. And runner-up to Kevin Garnett now with the Minnesota Timberwolves as Illinois' Mr. Basketball. Not a bad guy to lose to with the talent that Mr. Garnett possesses now playing at the next level. But Gary Bell, very athletic, tough kid, and Notre Dame's done a good job in this first half on the backboards, and we thought that was one of the key areas that they had to play well in, and they've done it. So number 33, Damon Santiago, come back for Rutgers. Ten-point lead for the Fighting Irish at the two-minute mark. Oh, 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 
Really spread offense here by Rutgers to see if they can open something up inside. The Crimmins turn around, no, and a rebound to White. Miller leaves it for Bell, goes up, and a finish by Hickey. Boy, nice looking ball movement. I think that was a pass from Bell. We'll give him an assist on that one. You're very generous. <laughs> Either that or he just lost control. Either way, good finish. The lefty lost it <laughs> off the right hand. 36-24. Notre Dame by 12. Way outside, beyond pro range. And Hoover rebounds. We approach the minute mark. Notre Dame with the ball up 12. That was a long range one by Gilligan. No hesitation. Take it a step or two in, still get the three. Hoover on the cut, and gets it. They call the blocking foul. Ryan Hoover. That was a dynamite driving basket by Hoover. To see if position's established. Oh, he does step in, good call. Gotta have yourself established as the offensive player comes down. Hoover left his feet, defense slides under. Therefore, the blocking call. Kobasovsky comes in. Damon Haskett picked up his third foul on the play. And a three-point play for the senior from Roscoe, Illinois. 39, 24 minutes to go, first half. Big half for Hoover. He's got the job done for Notre Dame. He's been the key. Hoover with 12 points. Notre Dame picking up on that defensive end. Billet lets it rip, got it blocked. Notre Dame takes over. 45 seconds to go, up by 15. That was a force that time by Billet. You've got to let the offense develop. 35 seconds is a lot of time. Notre Dame will work some clock here. Hoover Not lets it rip. Much. <laughs> Rebound McCrimmon. I thought that was quick too, Dave. Yeah, it was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Inside, Kobasowski cut off, but he scores, jumping over Hoover. So for Kobasowski, his sixth point, 13 point Irish lead. Final 10 seconds, right here. Want to shoot it with about five, leave enough time to bang the backboard. Hoover launches a three straight on. Close, no, Kobasowski rebounds. That'll do it for the half. Notre Dame took a 17 point lead, had it. Notre Dame with four players with two fouls. Rutgers says two players with three fouls. Eric Clark and Damian Haskett. Santiago starts in the back backcourt. A three-guard look for Rutgers. Billet, Santiago, and Carner with Kobosowski in a turnover. Here's Garrity taking over for Notre Dame. Not the start that Bob Wenzel wanted to see. No execution on that pass. Same thing at the other end. And entry passes. Loose ball. Santiago saves it. Little Freeman to Billet, very sloppy play starting the second half. Billet couldn't get it to go, but a foul in the play. Boy, nobody wants to take care of the ball to start this second half. Now Billet, the freshman, just takes matters into his own hand with the penetration. That's usually a good time for the point man to back it out, settle things down, and say, guys, let's regroup. Chose to take it right into the teeth of the defense, got himself to the line. Admar White the foul, his first putting Jeff Billet on the line. Jeff 90% from the line coming into today's game. Bob wins a very high on this freshman. Local kid coming to Rutgers and Bob very excited as you might expect coming into the Big East and helps his recruiting. Same goes for John McLeod. Both coaches commenting on the aid to recruiting just being in the Big East. Television exposure, the competition of the conference. Hoover with White. Gotch. Here's Garrity. And good Whoa. bucket there. Stepping outside. Yeah. Big guy. 42 28. A three pointer for Pat Garrity. Talking to friend McCaffrey before the game. John McLeod's assistant. And he said, hey, Garrity can shoot it from 15. As a matter of fact, he can step up behind that three point line as he does right there. One for three from deep. Santiago tries to answer and does. Damon Santiago. That's his second three of the season. The 42-31 Notre Dame lead. Big lift for Rutgers. On the cut. Oh. Gotch, boy, there was a good pick to set him free. That gotch. 
Notre Dame's definitely executed better out of their half-court offense in this game today. Turner short, rebound Garrity. I think the biggest thing, though, is Notre Dame has been just dominating the backboard. And they get Garrity. Garrity trying to set up, and Kobasovsky, I don't know if he took a dive or not, but there was contact and a foul on Garrity. That's, a, That's his they, third. It's a big personal foul. Garrity, the go-to guy, got on that last play on the motion offense. Rutgers has got to sag more weak side so that they're not getting picked off. Let's see if John McLeod elects to let Garrity play on with the three or give him a brief rest. Right now, no indication that he's going to substitute. Billet inside for McCrimmon. Spinning. A little long, good defense by Gotts, just keeping his arms straight up. Notre Dame in a hurry, up 44-31. Two minutes into the second half here at Rutgers. Hoover with an opening, a little short, the Crimin rebound. Most of Hoover's baskets came early against the zone by Rutgers. He doesn't have as much time to set against the man-to-man -man coverage. Billet set up by Turner. Jeff Billett, the freshman, with a big three and gets the Notre Dame lead, knocks it down to 10, and Bob Wenzel employing the crowd to get into it. Billett's a gutsy kid. He's got the crowd fired up with that tray. Boy, Kolbasowski and Garrity are just banging away out right. there. They're waging a war there. Hoover set up, studies short. Rebound to Santiago. Ruck is trying to get it inside 10 points. The other thing Rutgers wants is a quicker pace. They like those quick shots by Notre Dame. McCrimmon front rims on the turnaround. Hoover takes over for Notre Dame. Going to try to get that to the goal instead of fading away. Garrity got that one. A little bit of a bump. He beat McCrimmon and an easy one. A couple of subs get ready to come in for Rutgers. It's Notre Dame by 12. The effectiveness of Garrity is his positioning in low, Dave. He can also step outside, but he uses his body very well. That shot by Kobosowski for three. Faced up and nailed it. <laughs> Kobo from downtown. 47, 46, 37 for Kobosowski. He's got nine points his first three. Turnover, Hoover couldn't control the pass. The three can get you back in games in a hurry. Corner. They get a reaching foul. I think it was on Hoover. For Ryan Hoover, his first foul. Rutgers stepping outside in the second half. Kolbasowski says, hey, I'm banging away down in the paint there. I'm going to step outside for one. He saw Garrity do it, and he matches it with a three. Couple subs in for Rutgers. Park 41, Marone's 34. Marone's inside and draws contact from Gotch. Rutgers has lived quite nicely by the three-point shot here early going of the second half. Three for four from long range. And more White picks up his second. Marone at the line. Clear Lake High School, Houston. Missed his junior year in high school. A stress fracture in his leg. Real physical player. And you know, he is going to be a welcome addition to this ball club in Big East play in particular. He's a big young kid. He's getting some quality minutes. And as rugged as he is, Dave, he's got a soft touch from the stripe. Sure enough, that was his first trip to the line. It was a productive one. And Rutgers as close as they've been since the early going at the seven-point Notre Dame advantage. Notre Dame needs one here. Look at the defensive intensity now. It's really picking up for Rutgers. Notre Dame, first half, had a 17-point lead. Sometimes when you're this tight, it opens up the driving lane. Hoover off the dribble nails oh, one. That's John. That's not his game, but he makes it work this time. Hoover went for the steal, didn't miss by much. Santiago for three, hello. <laughs> that's his second three of the second half, and all of a sudden, the perimeter game Starting to go down for Rutgers. Turnover, Notre Dame. Rutgers takes over. But Garrity ran right by that ball. He thought it was off of Rutgers. 17th turnover by Notre Dame. Rutgers back in it, down by six. Point game, courtesy 
of the three-point shot by Rutgers. Doug Gottlieb, number 44, is in for Notre Dame. He and Ryan Hoover manning the Irish backcourt. Here's Al Turner for Rutgers. Baseline against Hoover. Santiago just off his three. Marone inside, block, but a foul. Gott thought he had a jump ball. He might have a case. It looked like he had a lot of ball. However, the inside opens up when you start to hit the long jumpers. Look at the tight Notre Dame defense. Nice spinning move. Ooh, that could have been a jump. There was body contact, and that's the personal. I like the spin move, though, by Moran. He's got himself down along that baseline. Tell yeah, you what, that's very impressive when you can get a youngster with that kind of movement. Cannot beat that. One of the many new players on this ball club. One, two, three, four, five, six new players on the Rutgers club. One out of two from the line. Rutgers to within five. They were down by as many as 17. A lot of banging. Marone and Garrity will keep an eye on that. And there it is. Reggie Greenwood was right on it. No question. He <laughs> bumped him from the moment he came down. He gave him a single arm shiver, then came back with the double. That drew the foul. Second on Marone. Little freshman enthusiasm on that particular play. He's somewhat pumped after going yeah. to the line, making a nice baseline move. He'll realize as time goes on, he'd much rather stay out on the floor, though, and not get himself into foul trouble. Well, one thing, if he likes to bang, he's in the right league. There's another foul. This one off the ball. Corner gets whistled this time. Third foul on Al. Rutgers playing better defense. Obviously, they're shooting it better. What they don't want to do is take that aggressive defense too far and get themselves into foul difficulties. Hoover, quick pop, baseline, no, rebound. And over the back is Garrity, his fourth foul. So Garrity picked up number three at the 18-14 mark, and now not quite four minutes later, he gets number four. That's a big problem right there, and John McLeod will have to get him out of there. Hoover taking some quick shots right now, as opposed to early in the game, getting the open ones and draining them. Billet runner in and out. Rebound, Gottlieb. Nice boxing out by NZ that time. <laughs> Garrity's got to be careful that he doesn't force anything and foul out of this one. Spinning, a little long. Rebound, Clark. Rutgers down five. Coming up on 14 minutes to go. Carter, shake move into paint. Garrity got out of the way. Rebound, Clark. The fade is short. Garrity rebound. Had it, foul. A lot of contact. Welcome to the Big East, boys. <laughs> oh, it got physical in there. The crowd wanted to see this get to be a three-point game with a basket there, but it holds it five. A lot of hustle. This is an important stretch now for Notre Dame with Pat Garrity, the leading rebounder, double-figure scorer on the bench, as well as Hoover taking a rest, and he's cooled off quite a bit from the beginning of the game. 22nd timeout for Notre Dame. Jason Marone picked up second one final note on that Ryan. i'll say one thing for folks who've never been to a game at west virginia a lot of teams are going to take their <laughs> lumps at the coliseum in morgantown very tough play to escape with a victory gottlieb at the line doug came in 50 percent shooter from the line and on the two-game season ryan hoover catching a blow right now hoover and garrity have teamed up for 25 in this one they're both sitting right now Big rebound to Hickey, but he lost it to Santiago. Santiago. And they get the foul on Karaski. Riding Santiago, second foul on Keith. Keith Karaski. That's his second. 17 foul. 17 fouls on the Irish. One on one situation now for Rutgers. Six point game with 13.47 to go. Santiago really can be a catalyst for this Rutgers team when he comes off the bench. He makes things happen. He's all around the ball. There he is again. Trying to wrap around pass a little too much. Weiss takes over. Nothing but white shirts in front of him. Gottlieb and Karowski up front. A lot of shoving underneath Weiss. There's Karowski and Hickey on the floor. A bump and a foul. It's on Hickey. His third. Really mounting for both clubs right now. 
and we're just seeing a lot of pushing and shoving. Big people, you've got to keep your hands up. You start throwing your elbows around and bang, and that's what happens. You're picking up a lot of personals. Kobo that time with a bit of an experienced move, if you will, the veteran getting himself to the line. That's exactly right. The senior, a couple of times he's been involved and in, got one on Garrity earlier in the game. Kobosovsky too strong on the free throw and frustration in the crowd here at the Brown Athletic Center. 49-43, Notre Dame leading Rutgers, 13-16 to go. It's a real half-court type game right now. Neither team able to really rebound and get out and run. As a result, a lot of turnovers. Notre Dame escapes that time. Ball was deflected. Who's going to step up for Notre Dame right now? You've got a couple of their key scorers. And how about Karaski with the big J? Big bucket for Keith and Notre Dame. 52, 43, 13 minutes to go. He's had a lot of injuries throughout his career, but he's very capable. Kobasowski got the step on Hickey, who's got three fouls. Seven point, Rutgers behind Notre Dame. Godley way outside, they're waiting for Gotch to set the pick. Gotch was wide open on the roll, too. Karaski in trouble. Hickey goes up and strong. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, some bodies bounced off of Hickey that time. Well, Hickey. 6'11", 290 out of Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. Irish by nine. Get it to Kobasovsky. Up and under, left-handed score. Beautiful move that time. He really wanted the basketball. Used his body very effectively. Kobasovsky's come on strong. He's got 13 points. And he's really establishing a low post game right now for Rutgers. Kobasovsky. Seven points here in the second half. Got to the baseline. It'll be a blocking foul. There's been more. I'll tell you what, there's been all kinds of contact in this game. McCrimmon. McCrimmon picks up his third. So the foul story mounting. Carner's got three. McCrimmon with three. Same for Haskett and Marone. It is a foul right there. Carner does take the charge, but guess what? There's a foul before it as McCrimmon reached in with the hack. Got front rims. He came in four for seven, first two games from the free throw line as Park comes in to relieve Jenny McCrimmon. Right now the Irish by seven, 11, 48 to go. Got too strong on that one, rebound corner. Free throw is always important in a game like this where you, you know you're going to go to the line a fair amount. You've got to get those to go. Robosowski oh, hot hand continues. He's oh. got the deuce. 15 for Robosowski. Rutgers down five. Must have had his big toe on the line. He was close to a three on that one, but he's carrying Rutgers right now. Oh, there's another one there. Robosowski set that up beautifully. He set it up beautifully. He looked, put a little bit of an elbow and got, got flailed away. Wow, that's a big play. What a great setup. I happened to look down and caught that. Kobasovsky put a little bit of elbow, just left it, just sort of made a presence there, and then got fought him off. Here it is right here. Oh, yeah, there's a tangle, and then, you know, he does a great job of going with it in this and game. And he went I, with it big time, didn't he? Yeah, he got the cameo going big time there. There was some tangle, and a lot of times the second man gets it, and Gotch is more shedding him. You can see where he picked the personal foul up, but he gets ball free. Intentional. Intentional foul. This is going to be two shots, and plus the ball. The ball. Gotch's third foul. Could be a six-point play. The two that Notre Dame doesn't get. Let's see if he can convert these and then the ball to Rutgers. My mistake, Gotch has four fouls. On the cloud. Saw his club up by 17 and the lead has been pecked away. Rutgers down by three. 11-19 to go in the ball game. What a big East beginning for both of these teams.
percent, six for 12, but Rutgers shooting 64 percent at seven for 11. Paul Basofsky has been dynamite in the second half. Got 11 of his 17 points since the intermission, and he is really doing a great job. Trying to post up Pete Miller. Put several inches on him, as well as some weight. Miller 6'4", Kobosowski 6'8". Shot clock at 10. Corner three. Couldn't get it, rebound Hickey. Hickey and Kowalski for the Fighting Irish. Whistle off the ball. It's on Clark. Oh, he's been in foul trouble this whole game. Every time he moves, he's been picking up personals. You bet. His fourth. Clark has not had much playing time this afternoon. He's a guy that Rutgers depends on for some inside defense, scoring, and rebounding. Seems like when he comes into the game, before he can get into the rhythm of the game, he picks up the foul. Miller straight on three. Irish get a little bit of breathing room. 57-51, Notre Dame. And Pete Mill has really been solid off the bench in this game. They're going to try to post up Kolbasovsky again, and Rutgers ought to try to find him. They do. He draws a double team. Santiago. And it's taken away by Weiss. Santiago got it back. Kolbasovsky! 57, 53, Notre Dame, 10 minutes to go. Credit that basket to Santiago. 19 points for Andrew Kobosowski. White, way strong. Rebound, corner, couldn't save it. Notre Dame will keep the control. Keep it right here. Very nice job by Rutgers to climb back in this one. They've kept their poise. Their shooting has picked up, but Notre Dame has cooled off, and now Notre Dame's really going to hang in there with both Gary and Hoover sitting. Hoover getting a rest. Garrity, the big man on the bench with his fourth foul, picked it up at 14.39 to go. The way Carter's standing, someone's got to go to the corner to just get open. He was having trouble inbounding it by him. Karaski make that Miller on the pop-out, trying to get it to Hickey. Knocked away, a hold by Karaski. Yes, he did. He got him with the left hand to prevent the breakout. For Pete, it's foul number two. Great job by Clark. He's got the personal foul. There's the hold by Miller. And you know, Clark's playing out there with the active hands. He's just got to be careful that he doesn't foul out of the ball game playing with four. He is very active at both ends of the floor. That's one for three at the line this afternoon. That's into the lead. Three points. It had been a 17-point deficit for the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Clark will really mix it up with a lot of the good front-line players in the Big East. He's active. He hustles. He's just got to avoid the reach-ins. One out of two. Notre Dame takes over. 39-26, Notre Dame lead at the half. Closest Rutgers has been. Rutgers has not led. Got lead. Boy, did he get a break. It went off of Santiago's face. Shot clock, 15 seconds. Into the paint. The lead for Miller. Cut off at the baseline. Shot clock at eight. Gottlieb up top. Bingo. Big He's got basket. the three, and it makes it a 60-54 lead for Notre Dame. Notre Dame in all kinds of trouble offensively that time. Big, big bucket by Gottlieb. Sometimes you need one. You've just got to step off when you're struggling, and somebody just finds a way to get it done. Hot man for Rutgers has been Andrew Kobasowski, number 32, trying to post up. Miller, waging battle with him. Billet, force, and got it. Off the dribble, Jeff Billet, he's got 12. Four-point game. Rutgers hanging right in there. We thought at the beginning this would be a tightly played game. Notre Dame pulled way ahead, but it's starting to even out, Dave. No doubt about it. Borowski up top, guarded by Billet. Weiss with the pull-up. Billet rebounds, Rutgers runs. 
Scott leads the way. Hunters will maintain possession. Bob Wenzel going into his bench. Billy Gilligan comes in, as does Johnny McCrimmon. McCrimmon's number four. There's Carter. He takes his seat, as does Kobasovsky. Solid and play out there. For the Irish, Gary Bell at number 11. Notre Dame by four. Dave Sims and Ron Perry with you from the Louis A. Brown Athletic Center, Rutgers University. Foul three, four-point opportunity. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, Billet does play with a lot of emotion. Billet can tie it at the line. What a major league bucket by the freshman, Jeff Billet out of Middletown, New Jersey. Well, you can tell he's a kid that just loves to play hard. Always been on winning teams. And this is a nice inside out pass this time. He gets a little smile. He deserves it whenever he can go for the four-point play. Nice kick out that time. A lot of times you get it to the post and you can kick it out when the defense collapses. Boy, you don't want to be Doug Gottlieb when they go over films of this one on that foul right at the top. He didn't have to touch it. Don't foul a jump shooter. How about fouling the jump shooter behind the three-point line? Murder. Tie ball game. 7.57 to go. Rutgers down by 17. They've evened it up just under eight minutes to go. We'll be right back. During the time he was out of the game, Rutgers outscored Notre Dame 17-12. Well, they're going to need Pat Garrity underneath right now. Rutgers going zone. This might be Hoover time as well. Karaski, no, sir. Rebound, knocked out of bounds by Hickey. Rutgers can take its first lead. Billet and Santiago in the backcourt with Gilligan, McCrimmon, and Clark for Rutgers. Pat Garrity, number 53 for Notre Dame, has four fouls. 55, Hickey's got three. So there's some things to do in the paint. Gilligan in the lane. Rutgers has taken its first lead of the game. Really like the poise of the freshman there. He's 6'5. Goes right into the lane. Let's see if Notre Dame now can keep his poise on the road. They need one right here. And another foul off the ball. It's against number 11, Gary Bell. Second foul on Bell, and Ryan Hoover comes back into the game at 7 1. Is the elbow right there up with Gilligan. And that's where a lot of those fouls have occurred. The elbows, the arms flying. You extend your arm in this game, it's being called. And turnovers are a humongous story in this game. John McLeod will rue the fact that his club has 22 turnovers now compared to just 10 for Rutgers. Rutgers down by 17, trying to build a substantial lead of its own. Up by three, and John trying to regroup his troops. Gilligan at the line. Gilligan, nice lift off the bench. That's four in a row for the freshman. Gilligan's got eight points. Rutgers by four, under seven minutes to go. Hoover back in the game for Notre Dame as well. Hoover and Garrity would be the main offensive threats right now. Weiss, of course, he comes in leading the team in scoring. He's been quiet, but he can do it. They are at war in the paint. Keep an eye on that. Godley baseline goes up, gets hammered. Nicely done by him to draw the foul on Billet. How about Billet pleading his case there? Yeah, I know. There's no question on that one. <laughs> I'd like to see him in a philosophy class, right? He'd be undeterred. He'd keep giving you his logic anyways, but a lot of banging inside the screen. Bodies flying on that play. Gottlieb with the good penetration. Gottlieb way short. In fact, air ball. Notre Dame not getting it done at the line. Second half, they're one for five. Bad trip there. Could not cut into the Rutgers four-point lead. Six and a half to go. Glad to have you with us from Rutgers University, Dave Sims and Ron Perry. First Big East game for both clubs. Santiago, three baseline, three in the air, no. And a rebound to Hoover. Notre Dame with numbers. Hoover, three ball. No, he can't get it. And Gottlieb, rebounds and he'll reset. 
Hoover, all set, all day, no in and out. And quick rebound for Rutgers. Two good shots that time, they just wouldn't go in for him. Billet tripped Hoover with the foul. Second foul on Ryan. A lot of time left in this game with six to go. Notre Dame certainly doesn't want to try to put the ball up too quickly right now. There's a lot of time, and from Rutgers' perspective, they're playing much better defense right now than they were early in this ballgame. Pete Miller in and Tony White out. Billet, hero of the day for Rutgers, five for five at the line, is four-point play, 7.57 to go, tied it at 60. Rutgers, five-five. Well, look at the quality minutes that freshmen are getting in this game, Dave. Billet, got Gilligan out there, Johnny McCrimmon, the junior college transfer. Gottlieb, just a freshman. Notre Dame has gone scoreless the last three minutes. Edmore White will try to end that drought. Under six minutes to play, it's Rutgers by six. Phil Hickey out there, he's a freshman for Notre Dame. Notre Dame needs to get a couple of things going to the basket right now. Try to get themselves reestablished. Trying to live by the three, oh. and they do on that one. How about Hoover, though? He misses two the last time, Dave, and comes back with it. Clark underneath. Clark can't get it. Loose ball. Clark's got it, but Hoover breaks out. All over. Santiago controls for Rutgers. They have the ball with three under five and a half to go. There's all kind. I'm telling you, off the ball. That's where many of the calls have been made today. Very physical game. You have a book that contains basketball described as a non-contact sport. You were sold a bill of goods. 513 to go from Rutgers. Prior written consent of creative sports is prohibited. Coming up on five minutes to go, Dave Sims and Ron Perry with you. Notre Dame had a 17-point first half lead. Irish now trailed by three. Bobasowski, hot hand, second half, pulled off right there, and Matt Gotch with the rebound for the Fighting Irish. That was a fine rebound on the weak side by Gotch. He was banging away with McCrimmon over there. Hoover, White, Gotch, and Miller on the floor, along with Garrity. A little bit of travel, no call. Garrity playing with four fouls. White got away with one there. Garrity really wants it down low. He's open. Didn't give it to him. Step back jumper. Hoover. Rebound. White had it and lost it. Hoover air ball. White had it. Let it go. I thought Garrity was open. I, I would have yep. dumped it down that time. See if he can wheel and deal a little bit in the paint area. Rutgers with the ball up three. Approaching four minutes to go. A little spread offense now maybe by Rutgers trying to just... See if they can get a couple of lanes to the basket, work it down low. Take some time off the clock, but way too much time to get out of that aggressive mode, that's for sure. This freshman Jeff Billet has been large. Rebound, Billet goes up, score it! <laughs> I tell you, he just goes after it with intensity. Jeff Billet, what a game. He's got 20 points. And John McLeod has seen his ball club Come unpinned here, down by five. Still, it's a competitor. Sure is. Big time play to get in, get the shot. 73 and eight. In fact, he had a big shot last year in a regular season matchup against Vaunted St. Anthony's of Jersey City. And beat the Friars. Here's the Irish now, 342 and counting, down by five. Garrity's got it inside. He got hit. No call. All kinds of contact. McCrimmon, though, gets the call this time against him. I thought that was a good call. You could have called the foul on Kolbasowski as well. But Garrity gets the ball that time where you want to. And this is what happens, Dave. He gets it there. Even if he doesn't finish, it's a good chance he'll get himself to the line. Fourth foul on McCrimmon. That Garrity picked up foul number four at the 14-39 mark. 
He took a seat shortly thereafter, and Rutgers got back into the game. In fact, tied it with a 17-12 run, and now they lead by four. Garrity trying to cut into it again. Good trip for the Irish with two at the line. Three-point game. So Eric Clark back into the game, replacing Johnny McCrimmon. Clark playing with four fouls. Bob Wenzel's done a nice job weaving people inside. McCrimmon, Clark, Kobosowski, the freshman Jason Moran. Coming up on three minutes to go. Three-point game, Rutgers with the ball and the lead. Turner, and you gotta figure if you want Billet, if you're gonna get something from the outside, you may want to be looking Billet. And there he is. Fading, can't get it. Rebound, got the Irish. He gets up and going here, maybe tie this game. Good defense that time by the Irish. That's what they needed. <laughs> Something came out on the court. Jody Sylvester had a stop play there. Ryan Hoover will inbound. And more white. Gotch, Garrity, and Miller up front for the Irish. Phillips, Santiago, Clark, Kobosowski, and Carner for Rutgers. Garrity's hit one three. A lot of time left, though. You don't have to go three here. Plenty of time to try to get a good one. They get it to him. Garrity spins baseline. Reverse. Well done. Pat Garrity playing with four fouls. Makes it a one-point game. And again, that's why before when we were talking about getting it to him, he's got some good moves in there. And Rutgers right now is going to continue to look for their own offense. Still a lot of time. They still need to put points on the board as well as work clock. Carner. We'll get it to Santiago. He goes in try and makes it. Goes in the traffic to score to make it a three-point game. That's where you love Santiago's experience, Dave. He's a senior. No hesitation. A lot of poise with that move. We're under two minutes to go. 70 to 67 Rutgers over Notre Dame. Miller. Hoover. And look for Garrity. Parts playing with four fouls. Hoover, long range three. No, short. Garrity had it, knocked it out of bounds. That's a smart play. Oh, what a play. He knocked it off the back of Santiago. Garrity was going down when he made the play, but was able to throw it off his back. Not only a good hustle play, but a heads up play. He's got his mind made up right there. He's going down, throws it off his back. Minute and a half to go. Three-point game. Rutgers leads. Crunch time. Notre Dame needs one here. Garrity way outside. He'll go for three. He's got it. Oh, big one. We're tied at 70 on a three-pointer by six-foot-eight senior. Make that sophomore, Pat Garrity. Boy, he wanted the ball that time. Well, all knotted up. We thought we might have this kind of finish. Carter, nobody to leave it for. Coming up in a minute to go. White's doing a great job denying Bill at the basketball. Santiago, look at some penetration here. Fighting Irish on a 10-2 run. Jack Clark winding down. The lead for Clark. Knocked away, but they're going to call a goal 10. Gotch went up and took it off the glass. So no Notre Dame gives up a deuce there. Rutgers has a 72-70 lead. Great job by Santiago. He just wove his way through. Garrity has to help out. And there's Ed Clark. Santiago, big basket time before. Great penetration that time. Many of the crowd here on its feet. Final minute of play, 40 seconds to go. Garrity left open for three again. He missed it this time. Rebound Clark. Rutgers with the ball up two, approaching 30 seconds to go. Rutgers can just about work the clock all the way down. That's a good foul by Hoover. Third foul on Ryan Hoover. So Pat Garrity hit a big three and then tried another one to put Notre Dame in front and he couldn't get it. It's a two-shot foul, Dave. Notre Dame with 10 team fouls. It takes a lot of pressure off when you've got two instead of that one-on-one -on -one situation, but Notre Dame... Regulation, Dave Sims and Ron Perry. Big moment here for Al Carner of Rutgers. Scarlet Knights by two. Make it three. Very big free throw. 
Notre Dame obviously needs a three now to tie. This is an even bigger basket because it'll mean two possessions for the Fighting Irish. He missed it. The Irish can get a three from this man or Pat Garrity to he, tie it up. Got to either get a quick two or now, if you're working clock, you've got to get a three-point shot. Hoover's the man or Garrity. Gotch takes a three. And he oh, hit it! Oh! Matt Gotch steps outside to get the three the 6'11 junior. The big fella did it. Plenty of time here now for Rutgers. They got to get some penetration and look for the dish. Corner. Clark, baseline, no. Hoover's got it. Let's a rip. And we've got overtime in the first Big East game for Notre Dame and Rutgers. Rutgers had a three-point lead, but Matt Gotch stepped way outside to hit a three, and we're going to over... ...and fill it, so look for those jump shots to go in good ball handling. That's the key. Rutgers had a six-point lead and couldn't maintain. So we're in overtime in the Brown Athletic Center in Scataway, New Jersey. Always important to try to get that first hoop in overtime. Garrity's got four fouls. They take it right to him. Short is Park. Park again, right through Garrity, and I think Garrity's going to be done. If Garrity had held his ground on that one and just given way, he would have been able to take a charge. So in overtime, 17 seconds in, Pat Garrity fouls out. That's a huge loss for Notre Dame. Ed Clark fighting in the air. Let's see if he jumps into Pat Garrity. He gets his own rebound. Outstanding effort in there. And then Garrity comes in. He wasn't set. Ooh, I'll tell you. Clark jumps into him, but he wasn't set. He was still half turned in there. If he'd been able to turn, no question he would have been able to take the charge. 18 points, eight rebounds. Solid game for Pat Garrity. trip for Rutgers, two points at the line for Clark. Rutgers by two. Playing out the way we thought it would. Yes, indeed. First half, Notre Dame by 17. Hoover did a lot of that to build that 17-point lead, and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish go up by one here in overtime. Well, Hoover is really a streaky shooter. He could he could fire in two or three in a row now after that, Jay. Hoover's got 20. Billet missed. Rebound Hoover. Protects the ball, too, after the rebound. What a great way to begin Big East play for both of these clubs. So the intensity level has been very high. Hoover, pull up, no. Kept alive. Now Billick takes over for Rutgers. But Hickey had that one. Yep. Santiago leaves it. McCrim in. Block. Foul. Almost counted it. Hickey with the foul. His fourth. Right where you want to get it, though. Santiago takes the ball just inside the foul line. Point guard doing his job, draws the defense. Well, McCrimmon really wanted that one. Big fella plays with a lot of emotion. The three in a row at the line for Rutgers. Tied at 76. critical, especially in these tight ones. Rutgers should put a lot of pressure now on the ball, on Hoover, and force the big people to cause some damage right now for Notre Dame. Eight points for McCrimmon. Gotts was open. They get it to him. Gotts, baseline, lost it off his knee. Turnover Notre Dame. For the Irish, that's their 23rd turnover. You really don't want to have Gotts in a one-on-one -on -one situation having to handle you want the backcourt people to do that and then work it into your big people. Possession so crucial in an overtime session. You don't get that many. It's only a five-minute game, so every time down court, very important. 77-76. Now 
and a three for Damon Santiago and Rutgers. Scarlet Knights by four, three minutes to go. Santiago's been very clutch in this game for Rutgers, late in the game and now in the overtime. White has been quiet. Yes, he has. We are in overtime. Less than three to go. Baseline runner, short. Rebound, Carner. Carner. Clark. Short. John what? McLeod probably wants a timeout here. And I tell you what, you rarely see John McLeod that demonstrative, but most coaches would be when you give up a layup in overtime to go down by six. 2.38 to go from Rutgers. Scarlet Knights with the advantage. Can they hold it? Time to go. So. Plus, he's been the floor general. Yes. And we've said his name a lot today because he's always around the basketball. Doug Miller, cross court, got to the hole, lay it in, that's for oh, the goal. Big bucket out of the timeout. But Notre Dame getting Gotch that time in a position where he can do something with the ball. The nice finish by the center. Last time he was out on the floor trying to create, and 6'11, 209, not going to beat a heck of a lot of guys, particularly smaller guys off the dribble. The Crimmins fouls out on that play. Andrew Kobasowski. Instrumental in getting Rutgers back into this game in the second half returns. It has not been a good day for Gotch at the line where he's 0 for 2. And he's short there. Santiago rebounds. Rutgers by 4. 82 78, approaching two minutes to go here in overtime. That was a big free throw. That would have cut it to a one possession game again. Billet and Carter in the backcourt for Rutgers. Kobosowski, Clark, and Santiago up front. You want to run some clock here and then get a good one. Santiago's pull up. No rebound, Hickey. But that was a little quick. There was still about 17 seconds on the clock. He's working it. Good point. Under 150, Hoover leaves for Gott. Short turn, no. Put back is Hickey. And it's a two-point ball game. Pat Garrity had fouled out a few minutes ago, and the Irish are right back with 137 to go. Nice job out of that timeout by John McLeod, the Irish. There's no quit in this team. They're hanging very tough, and now the pressure on Rutgers to execute at the offensive end. Rutgers had a six-point lead late in regulation. They wasted that, and they had a six-point lead here in overtime. It's now down to two. Kobasowski draws a crowd. Rutgers with a few timeouts left. Oh, another big turnover. Good defensive pressure by Hickey and Miller forces the traveling violation of Kobasowski. 11 turnovers for Rutgers. Rutgers had a six point lead moments ago, but Notre Dame has cut it to two with 1.05 to go here in overtime. 82 80, Rutgers. Travel, he dragged his pivot foot again. He's got to keep that dribble alive. You can't kill the dribble when you're a point guard. Especially, what, 30, almost 35 yep. feet from the basket. Another dribble or two. Gott looked like he was open on the roll, but another big turnover in this game. Number 24 for Notre Dame. That let Billet handle the ball more. We're at 55 seconds and counting. White's been doing a good job of denial. Work some clock and then look to penetrate. Notre Dame, you've got to get a stop here. Billet likes to start going left and then come back right once he penetrates. So I'm sure White has that in mind. 38 seconds left on the game clock. 10 on the shot clock. Kobasowski rolls to the hoop. Goes flash and scores. Beautiful pass. Nice finish. Four-point lead for Rutgers. John McClatt calling a play. Notre Dame's got to get a quick one here. Get it to the basket. 21 seconds, Hoover up top, can't get it. Rebound, Gotch had it, lost it, Rutgers ball. Wow, that one looked like it went out off of Kobo, didn't it? Yeah, 16.4 seconds to go. Well, Notre Dame's gotta try to get a steal, full court pressure or reach in for a quick foul. And another time.